and uh, this is a this is not just like a fun philosophy to look at this has been a way for me to heal myself to heal old hurts and old wounds and when I have friends that are hurting when we get together and we talk when we get out of the details and, and get into the big picture view there's relief there's relief and there's freedom and there's peace and it all equals out you know so to me the big picture view is a form of healing and I can give you an example because uh, out of my own life because I was in the tight narrow view of depression for a long time for a great majority of my life um, it started for me when I was just eight years old and my family life was up to that point pretty normal pretty normal you know I grew up in Houston down in the south you know and happy little barefoot kid beautiful mom beautiful dad had my brother you know living a good life and everything my dad used to beat the crap out of us because that's what you did back in the 60s if you're going to be a good parent you know he had good in, good intentions but he was he was beating us but I'll tell you right now you know uh, I knew I felt that it that it was wrong and it really scared me and everything but I've come to see that he had it was a bad method but he had good intentions he had good intentions but right around the time I was eight, either I became aware of or the problems started to develop in my family and uh, there were some events that uh, led to um, psychological trauma for me to, you know, to what, what felt like devastation to me. I saw things that children really aren't equipped to see. I saw horrible, terrifying things. And it was too much for my, for my mind, for my little kid mind. And I did what so many little kids do to cope. Of course, I didn't know I was coping with psychological trauma. I didn't have any language for it. But I did what so many little kids do and I went deep 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 into my own mind I checked out I just I went away I went far far away for a long time for like probably almost a year and it was weird it was uh, like I was a robot like I was walking around and functioning and existing but I had no feelings I couldn't feel anything and I remember thinking in my little kid head I must be dead but I wondered how could I be dead and and it seemed like nobody noticed you know and then I had the scariest most awful thought I thought what if I'm dead and it doesn't matter I was, I was so sad I was so devastated and all I could feel was maybe a little fear but as soon as I felt that I went retreating back into that place of no feeling and that started a pattern for me in my life um, of focusing on pain and then focusing on all the details of my personal pain and I'm sure I would have died from it if I hadn't had 
other spirit experiences that came along later, experiences of love that opened up that tight feeling that took that pressure off, that set me free over and over again from that depression box that I would come to visit and linger in and live in for over 30 years. I had was diagnosed with chronic clinical depression because it affected my appetite and it affected my sleep and uh, but mostly it affected my waking hours and in all the years I was going through this pattern of going into that tight place of depression and then love would show up in my life, you know, love would come into my life in some form and like rescue me out. And I didn't realize until I got older and looked back that when I got so stuck and so tight in that crushing feeling of depression, because it is painful, it's very painful, very real, that when love came and rescued me out, that it was taking me from the tight place to the big picture. That love was bringing me into the big picture view. That I could see that it wasn't all pain. That I could get free of the repeating details of, you know, suffering and all the pressure. And uh, that's that's something that I experienced firsthand and I can actually say that I got relief from my depression. And over the years, not only did the big picture view or the view of love or the view of freedom that came with it, you know, not only the big, not only did I get free Every time I came into the big picture, it got bigger. It got bigger. I was so amazed to see this that, uh, you know, that I was seeing more and more every time.